Hey, this is Anna Maria Lorenzo, and I'm about to make a DIY sunscreen, so with all natural products, and I wanted to share that with you. So I'm about to get started. I did measure out all of my ingredients into my pan, but before I get started with that, let me just tell you what I have in here. So I'm using three-fourths cups of coconut oil, and this is just your regular coconut oil that you buy at the grocery store, unrefined, make sure it's um, organic, all right, so mine's labeled organics there, but three-fourths cups of this. The difference between this and your fractionated coconut oil is that this is white and it solidifies when it gets cold and it softens um, when it's heated, all right? So that's going in there, all natural. I'm also gonna be adding um, one tablespoon of pomegranate oil, and I got this off of Amazon but organic pomegranate seed oil, which has a natural SPF to it, and it's amazing for your skin. And then we have shea butter, which is absolutely amazing for your skin as well, loaded with vitamin E and tons of other nutrients, but this is organic. Um, two tablespoons of this, and your zinc oxide, all right? So your zinc oxide is, um, all of these have a slight SPF to it, um, but everything combined, um, to include your essential oil um, should add up to about 50, uh, I'm sorry 20 SPF by the time we're finished But your zinc oxide again pure organic make sure everything is organic that you're purchasing um, And you can get that from Amazon feel free to reach out I can share specifically You know uh, which ones that I'm using and kind of send a link as well, but two tablespoons of this All right, so two tablespoons of that what I'm using here is a double broiler. I actually bought this on Amazon a couple years back for $12. Very, very inexpensive. And what I did was I added a little bit of water to my saucepan. And when I turn the stove on, the water heats up. And of course, it heats up everything that's in the broiler and it melts it all down. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn this on and get started on heating this up. So as this heats up, I did not, however, what I did, what I did add in there was everything except for my zinc oxide. I'll save that for last. So once this has been melted down, this will be my last step, adding my two tablespoons of that along with my essential oil. The reason I do not want, oops, got the wrong one on there. The reason I don't want to add the essential oil in there right away is because they're volatile, meaning that they do evaporate. So even when you're not heating them up, they naturally evaporate. So until you've added it to your coconut oil, it'll bind, but heat also does break it down and it kind of destroys it. So that'll be your very, very last step. Once it's a slightly cooled and off the heat, then you can go ahead and add that in and mix it in really well so that it binds with the pomegranate and your coconut oil in there. Um, this calls for 10 drops of lavender, but for this today, I'm going to go ahead and do eight drops of lavender because I'm going to add one drop of frankincense and one drop of heliochrysum. All right, so frankincense, as we know, is the king of essential oils. That is your cellular support, um, it boosts your immune system, you name it, but it's amazing for your skin. It helps to protect your skin and your cells um, from aging, that aging process that comes along with sun exposure so I want to add that and it's also an amplifying oil so it's gonna help with amplifying the benefits of your lavender your lavender is all things calming and it's amazing for your skin it helps to keep your skin hydrated um, it's one of those oils that when you have dry skin you want to use your lavender to help with um, just kind of uh, reducing any of that um, adding that calming right so reducing any kind of inflammation or just getting rid of that dry, itchy feel. So that helps to relax even uh, the itchiness. But that's gonna be a great SPF as well for you. Um, and then you have your heliochrysum. So your heliochrysum, this right here is, um, when I first started actually using doTERRA, one of the oils that I was using to cover up my scar included heliochrysum, and I had read that this had a natural SPF to it, so it's why I gravitated toward that oil. Um, it's actually called Immortel. It's a proprietary blend of doTERRA's, and because of the heliochrysum in there, I applied it and kept my scar from uh, turning red in the sun the entire summer. So um, it also included your frankincense and a little bit of lavender with a few other blend uh, oils in there. So that's why I've chosen um, to incorporate those because it's just an amazing added benefit. But as you can see, this is melting down, and I'm just 
gonna stir that in to kind of help evenly break it down. So this won't take too long. Once it's nice and blended, I'm kind of like smoothing out some of the chunks um, because the shea butter is actually like a, um, a hardened bar. It's almost like a bar of soap. So it has that type of a consistency. So kind of smooshing as it softens to kind of help with um, the melting process a little faster. There you see there's a little clumpy. Your coconut oil, not so clumpy. Um, it has a few clumps, but it breaks down so much faster than everything else. And this is gonna be so yummy. As you can see, everything's natural. One of the things about your sunscreens is it's highly, highly toxic. So when you're applying a sunscreen to your skin, all things that you apply topically does get, um, you know, into, it saturates into the skin and it goes into your bloodstream. So you're actually absorbing all, the, all of the, the toxic chemicals that come along with that throughout your entire body, which is not good. So um, nothing topical actually just stays topical. So this here is just a better alternative to using your sunscreens. Um, if you look at the back of those bottles, you will see how toxic it is. If you look up those ingredients, um, they're just not good. And, and it, it's really not something that you want to actually put on your baby skin either. So this will be safe for your little kiddos this summer. You're going to be out water playing and at the beach, barbecue times coming around the corner. Um, something to keep in mind is that it is natural, so it's not going to have the, you know, stay put type of, um, you know, once you get into water, it'll wash off kind of thing. So you'll have to reapply it throughout the day. So just keep it with you and just reapply it every couple of hours. At the same time, you're conditioning your skin, all your essential oils and the shea butter and everything is just so good for you and it's really providing a lot of other benefits. That's one of the things that I love about um, using the oils and especially doTERRA is that when it, my story dating back and I won't tell you what the story is, you'll have to watch a different video, but, uh, cause it's pretty off topic. But using your oils for one thing, um, because there's so many benefits and they're so versatile that you'll unintentionally be supporting your body in different, um, in other areas. It's an amazing, amazing way to support your entire system, even when you're just trying to keep yourself from getting a, a sunburn. So, so we're getting somewhere with this. This is um, almost there. We just have a little bit of the, the shea butter that needs to break down a little more. Once this is completely broken down, and I'll let that heat up just a little more, but once that's completely broken down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it into um, a glass jar. You can add this to a plastic one, but I think that because you know, it's being heated, um, it's probably better to use your glass. So I actually ordered um, a pack of the four ounce glass mason jars off of Amazon. You can get everything off of Amazon. <laughs> But, um, and they came pretty quick. I received everything, I would say, within about three days of ordering it. And so, not too long at all. I have 10 here, but, um, and let's see, 12 come in a pack. Can't remember the price, but um, I can post that for you. So, even though this recipe calls, again, you know, for the 10 drops of lavender, you can, you can kind of play around with the recipe and um, split it up if you wanted to. You can, you know, you could actually do, um, you know, a little less of the lavender, maybe about five or six drops lavender and more of the helichrysum or more of the frankincense, it's completely up to you. I think that um, this ratio, the original recipe called for 10 of lavender, so there we go. So it, it broke down into a really pretty um, yellow color. So once everything's melted, that's what it looks like.
I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and I'm going to measure out, let me open these bottles. measure out two tablespoons of the zinc oxide. If you accidentally get more than one